Hundreds of gold miners have sent a blunt message to the McGowan government. A royalty increase will mean job cuts. They rallied in Kalgoorlie today against the tax hike, but the Treasurer insists the industry needs to pay its fair share. No. Dressed in high vis, they were easy to see, but these gold miners just wanted to be heard. No more royalties! No more royalties! No more than a thousand workers rallying in Kalgoorlie against the government's plan to increase gold royalties by 50%, a move they say would wipe out thousands of jobs, both local and fly-in, fly-out. It's going to hurt us and it's going to stop that growth and it's going to shut us down, really. To then have something like this threaten the industry, it's, it's scary. The royalty hike revealed in the state budget will slug miners an extra 1.25% when the price of gold is above $1,200 an ounce. The royalty increase will in fact wipe out some of the operating margin of mines in Western Australia, both large and small. It goes to job loss. At the current gold price, miners would be slugged around an extra $20 an ounce. But the Treasurer says they're already making average profits of about $440 and can afford to pay. $20 out of the current gold price of about $1,650 an ounce. That's not too much to ask. Companies here say an increase like this would kill off all new exploration. At a time when the industry is showing signs of recovery, job vacancies in the mining sector are up 30% against last year and it's been gold leading the way. The royalty spike would inject over $400 million into WA's busted budget, but needs opposition support to pass through Parliament. The market knows this is not going to have a dramatic impact, and that's why you're not seeing a dramatic market reaction. Gold miners are planning more rallies in the coming weeks. In Kalgoorlie, Michael Genovese, Nine News.